Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this paper template that you cut out with the laser and we are gonna actually cut out and bend up our sheet metal box, okay? Just a little bit about safety. Before you leave the carpeting and you enter into the concrete, a couple things have to happen. One, you gotta make sure you pass your general safety test and watch the eye safety video. And two, as soon as you enter the concrete, you need to turn immediately and get yourself a pair of safety glasses. Okay, always put your personal protective equipment on before working in the shop. Okay, once we're in here, we have different tables set up for our job. We're gonna make a quick pit stop up here at the layout table. This is the layout table where we have rulers and other tools that I'll introduce in just a little bit to lay out our parts. Okay, next stop we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our kick shear. Okay, this is our kick shear. It has a large horizontal blade. Uh, it also has a scale on the back side and a fence. We are going to actually set this up uh, right now, okay? All right, first things first, what I need to do is I need to take some measurements. I need to get a piece of sheet metal that this project will fit on. So the first thing I need to do is measure from end to end. So obviously this, put the zero on the outside edge of your paper template and measure across. This happens to be eight inches. So I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Then I'm gonna turn it, rip my hem off, oops. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna measure between the other sides of the box. That happens to be seven inches, okay? What I need to do is find a piece of sheet metal that my project can fit on. First thing I wanna do is check the scrap project parts area. Okay, so if I check this, and I measure this out, well, looky there, I can get my material out of here, no problem, okay? I need to set up my kick shear though, so that way I can actually cut this material out. And that takes a little bit of setup and a little bit of understanding of what you're doing here. First of all, I'm gonna set up and cut it for length. And cut the bulk off, somebody else can use this portion over here, okay? So, I'm gonna mark it at eight. Then I'm gonna take my measurement here, I'm going to measure back in off of the opposite edge, and that's going to be three and a half. I'm going to set up my tool to three and a half. So that's what I want to remove from my project. Now, to set up the kick shear, loosen the black knob, adjust the yellow knob, and your project parts will come out nice and square and straight. So you can see my indicator here is now setting on three and a half. Lock the black knob down. Loosen the opposite black knob, do the same thing. Lock the black knob back down, okay? Then I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna set it back up on this table that we got over here. Turn my sheet metal against the side of uh, the tool. This is our fence. This is 90 degrees to the blade. So I wanna hold it nice and tight to that fence. I'm gonna slide it all the way in until I bump up against the fence that's in the back. All I need to do then is step back, put one foot up on the uh, pedal, and push down. Okay? That's going to allow me to shear this off correctly. Okay? Once I get that done, uh, what I can do is I'm actually going to turn this, and this isn't squared up, so I'm going to quickly square that up for us today. That'll help me get you going in the right direction. Now, we need to take and measure, set this up for seven. Well, looky there, I cut it right at seven. Huh. A watchful eye, I guess. So we're good at seven. If I wasn't, uh, what I would do is then measure, lay out, and move my adjustments to get this all set up uh, to cut both height and width of my project. And just to review that, I'm gonna lay this out on here and there it is. Now this side, I accidentally ripped the hem off, so that's why it is short, okay? So from here, we go to the layout table. Grab your tools, always replace your tools back to where you got them from. Okay, so once we get up at the layout table, um, we are gonna need our scale still, so I'm gonna set that off to the side. We got a few tools out here. We have our combination square, which does a combination of things. It has a 45 degree angle here, uh, long scale on both sides. Uh, this is also a straight edge. It also has a 90 degree 
corner here so I can use it for layout. Okay. I have a tri-square which has 90 degree corner as well. It can also do 45s and then it also has a scale. So I have plenty of measurement devices out here on the table. And I have the good old Sharpie marker which I'm going to put my name on my project immediately so nobody can take my sheet metal. Okay, Now that is branded as mine. We have a couple other tools out here. These are called marking gauges. They have a scale on them, they have a shoulder, and then they have a scratching device, almost like a scratch all. This happens to be a uh, sh very sharp point, so please uh, treat this tool with some respect and keep it on the table. Don't walk around with it, and please don't hit your classmates with it. Okay? So we can use this to set up and then scribe our sheet metal. And then we have another tool here. This is called a scratch all, and again, this has a very sharp point whenever we carry sharp items from table to table because you're going to need it for one other activity you're going to do in here we always take our tool and we place it in our hand we put the tip next to the end of our finger the end of our finger should never go past it should go next to the tip and then we carry this down to our side as we walk from table to table okay and then place it at the center of the table when you get there all right i'm going to use the marking gauge today and i'm going to show you how to set this up i'm going to grab this one right here First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to establish all of these lines and they're going to show up on this sheet metal uh, plan. So I need to measure in from the outside edge and I'm going to use the side that still has the hem on it. I'm going to take that measurement from here to the outside edge and that happens to be two inches. I'm going to set up my marking gauge to two inches. Oh, tighten it up here. Once I get it at two inches, lock down the thumb screw and I take my marking gauge and I put the fence up against the side of my sheet metal. I tip my marking gauge kind of like this and I roll the uh, point down into the sheet metal and I pull it across. Okay, it's very hard to see but it's scratching the surface. It's putting a nice little score mark on there. I do this all the way around for all parts of my project. Okay, that's my plan that's laid out. There's the center of my box. Okay, next I'm going to take another measurement, and that's going to have to be from that line. So I'm going to measure what my tab is, so this direction right here, and it happens to be a half inch. Well, if I know that this line from here to the outside edge is two, and I subtract off a half inch, that means I need to set up my marking gauge to one and a half. So I set that up again. And then I'm gonna take my paper template, and I'm gonna lay it just like my sheet metal boxes, and I'm gonna scribe out only where the tabs are. Turn it around, do the same thing here. Okay, now you can't probably see that, but all of my lines are kind of laid out on here. Next thing I need to do is lay out the last measurement I have, and that's the distance from this line right here to the outside edge, and that's my hem. So I'm going to measure that. That's a quarter of an inch. So I set up my tool to a quarter of an inch. lock it in place and I take and I scribe my mark along the edge of my sheet metal. Once I get all that on there, then I take, put my marking gauge back and always clean up your mess please. Okay, other students do need to use this area. Then I'm going to take either a combination square or a tri-square and I'm going to lay out those 45 degree lines on the surface. So I take this item here, I place it on there, okay, line up my corner with the edge of my combination square, and I lay out my angular lines. Really easy to do, guys. Okay, flip this over. Oops. Oop, got it going the wrong way. My my bad. Okay, so all of these lines that we're laying out on here is going to come into play 
for the next step and that's going to be cutting out our project. Okay. I'm going to lay out all these parts. I'm going to flip this around. This takes a little bit of time, but it's time well spent. Okay, so you want to pay attention to what you're doing. You want to watch your plan. You always want to check back to your paper to make sure that you're transferring your lines correctly over here. Okay, so once you get it to this point, you have all of your lines transferred from your plan to your sheet metal. Once you get to this point, you need to have one of your fellow classmates look this over with your plan. So you and a partner need to go and look this over to make sure that all of your lines are there, all of your angles are marked, and everything's going to turn out just fine from your plan. Okay, happy layout!